Our next guest says inflation won't rise enough to force the Fed's hand, though. Let's bring in Layla Pence, who's the president of Pence Wealth Management. Layla, always great to have you with us. So how do you characterize the price pressures that we're seeing? Well, you know, it's to be expected with uh, the rise in inflation everywhere right now, even though we do think it is transitory uh, and, it'll, and like uh, it will definitely uh, force the Fed eventually to raise interest rates. But I think they can expect that they could live with a lot more inflation before they do that. We don't expect rates to go up for another year or so. Uh, as long as the market knows it's coming, it, they'll be prepared for it. We do need a bit of inflation. They've been dying to have some inflation for the last five years. So I think they can live with 3% inflation without doing much to the market. Can the consumer live with that, though, right? Because we heard from uh, Morgan Stanley World saying that they're really concerned that the plunging consumer sentiment is going to catch up with markets eventually, especially if it means less spending means that we're going to see earnings revised downwards. Mm -hmm. Is that a real risk? I don't, I don't think so, just because we do have the highest savings rate in the history of the United States. There's excess of savings. So be, you know, the reason there's inflation is because there's money in the market. And it's really hard to have a bad market when there's so much cash and so much infusion of, of dollars in the economy. And so uh, people are buying. I know real estate is up, things are up, and people are buying because they have the money and they can live with that. Uh, even oil prices going up. They can live with that. A lot of them going more into uh, electric cars to offset that. So it's something that we've needed for a long time. We've needed to have some inflation. Now, granted, it's, it's gone up a bit more. Mm. And I think wage inflation is, is certainly going to be here for a bit longer. But that, that's good for the economy. People are getting more money. With rising yields, we are seeing banks rising. They're one of the biggest gainers on the S&P 500, as this GTV chart on the Bloomberg shows. In fact, the best year versus the S&P 500 since 2000. Is we there room for more gains? I mean, we are getting those um, earnings results this week, right? Yeah, there's, they make so much money in the spread of interest rates, financials. And they really, I, we do think there's more. It is one of our convictions is to add more to financials. There's a lot more room to go because we don't know. Uh, I mean, they are making money without even higher, higher interest rates. And now with higher interest rates, they're going to make a lot more money. Mm. And it's a very good place to be. And they can hike their dividends as well. You know who's not been really making that much money? Energy stocks. Why do they continue to lag energy prices when crude is soaring? You know, I, I look at that. Uh, as well, and it would seem that they, were, they should have gone up, but I mean, they're down today, even though oil prices went up. And it really is because long term, I think more and more cars are getting away from using gas, you know, the whole uh, electric mode. Um, so if you look long term, we think oil prices are not going to keep going up. We do think OPEC will probably increase their, uh, their output here mm. pretty soon. So on a you know, if you look at the long range, we, we see a downward trend. And so it's hard to, to buy it today for a very short term. Leila Pence, great to have you on, president of Pence Wealth Management.